Yeah, that's super. Now, uh, I know you just kind of uh, went through the process, a little bit of the process, but I just want to say, okay, um, say I'm an undergrad at uh, UW-Madison, and I'm interested in SENS, and I want to contribute in some meaningful way. What's the first step that uh, an undergrad would have to do in order to get a research team going and get some funding? Is it, I mean, contacting you? Uh, pretty much. Um, for the time being, um, I'm running the uh, undergraduate um, initiative. Um, I've received a lot of assistance from uh, Mark. Um, I'll try to pronounce his last name, but I do apologize. It's I'm horrible at these things. It's uh, Ham uh, uh, Hamelanian. I, I apologize, Mark. Uh, I, I never get your name right. I've never actually heard him say his name either. You know, I've been I don't think he can pronounce it either. I really don't. <laughs> I've, been, I've, been, I've been familiar with him for many years now, but I just have never heard his name pronounced. But Ham and Alien, uh, or Ham and Alien, I, we'll, we'll get it one of these days. Don't Mark, worry. Mark H. Mark, Mark H. has H. Uh, been wonderful in helping me set this up. And basically, if you're a student that's interested, get in touch with us. Let us know what you want to do, what your research goals are, what your background might be. You might have a background in something that would be more suited for different projects. And basically, it's our job to set you up with a project that you'll be happy doing, that you're able to do, and whatnot. From that right. point, we would help you in drafting a proposal for your college, because everyone wants to receive college credit for that, um, as well as figuring Why? out what type of funding options are available. And sure. Um, we also have uh, the Methuselah Foundation um, granted us $2,000 in uh, scholarships annually that we can give out to both uh, individual students and research teams, so those are also available. So the scholarship could go to the whole team that they could use it as, as, as they see fit? Basically. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, the scholarships are designed to reward individuals and teams that are working hard to further the Methuselah Foundation and the SENSE agendas. Sure. Um, but if you are a team that needs X amount of dollars to actually perform the research, uh, then you could definitely apply for and utilize those scholarships to achieve that as well. Um, we are working on, um, there's lots of opportunities for undergraduates both through their colleges, um, at least Plattsburgh State has them, and uh, through other like private businesses to get funding for different projects depending on the size of them and nature of them and whatnot. And we are working on um, resources for students that would allow them to uh, be educated on how to receive funding for their projects oh, and okay. things of that. Yeah, well, so. I, I, I'm just thinking off the top of my head here, I mean, you're working with Tau Protein and Alzheimer's, and I would think there would be some grant opportunities within, you know, uh, you know, NGOs, uh, you know, nonprofit organizations or government grants. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, that, I, I mean, so you have that opportunity for a Methuselah Foundation scholarship, correct? Right. And also, you and the Methuselah Foundation would try to help out in regards as uh, getting grant money from businesses, nonprofits, wherever that grant money uh, m might come from. But I, I mean, there are a lot of societies like the American Cancer Society, you know, Alzheimer's organizations, things like that. I imagine that they would certainly be interested in contributing. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Absolutely. Okay. So it's not like you have a, a specific number of businesses right now lined up. I. I but. You right. Well, because it, it depends on the nature of the, nature research. Of the research. I mean, right. I can't say that I'm going to get money from the American Cancer Society right. if I'm working on Alzheimer's research. No, but if no. I'm working on cancer research, it makes sense that I would be able to get funding through them. So it really depends on the nature of research that you're doing. Yeah. And quite a few of the projects are things that you really don't need extensive funding for. And most of the colleges have hundreds to thousands of dollars, depending on the size of the college, available for student research. Oh, so even colleges even the college. themselves. Our, our college, and we just have a small state university, but even our college, aside from the free lab space, also has uh, like $500 or $1,000 grants that they can give out to students. And part of what we're trying to do is tell students, hey, there's tons of opportunities for you guys to do whatever you want if you know you have the wherewithal and tenacity to do it, and we're going to give you those resources if you want to put in the effort. Right, right. Well, now, I mean, you're, you've got your research team, uh, you're investigating uh, what you're going to do there at uh, Plattsburgh, and then you're also trying to coordinate here with the Undergraduate Research Initiative, and you trying to get a degree in biochemistry or uh, bioengineering. I didn't remember what you had said there. Uh, biochemistry, biochemistry and psychology. Yep. Oh, and psychology. How do you do it all? Uh, how, how do you... I mean, you must be busy uh, constantly 20, uh, 20 hours a day. 
When well, you, I tell you what, with, with something like this, um, I have two people in my life that make it really easy. Um, one is my girlfriend and one is my mother, and they're both wonderful because they're both females. Um, guys are incapable <laughs> of multitasking, but I've discovered if you let a girl help you out a little bit with things, it works out a lot better for you and it lets you fit everything in. A word of advice to all you guys out there. Yeah, anyone tuning in there. Uh, good advice there from Kelsey. Uh, also, uh, now, I just want, I know you touched on this, uh, just a little bit, uh, and someone in the uh, pro, uh, audience has asked if, uh, now, uh, so far your team is in the United States, a lot of the research uh, initiative is in the United States, but what about uh, for non-U.S. students? Uh, are you working on that, and, and how do, would they approach getting uh, a, a scholarship or getting a team started? Well, as far as the team thing, um, it depends on what country you're actually from. Um, I'm from the United States, so obviously um, the initiative is geared more towards United States students just because I work within that program and I understand how to use that system to help us out with what we want to achieve. I do not have currently a uh, anything in place as far as like forming research teams outside of the U.S. Students are encouraged to try to do that within their own universities. However, I'm told that it's very strict and very limited on what you're able to do, um, but we have been trying to work with students on that on a case-by-case okay. -case basis. Um, but the biggest thing is the literature reviews and just general research. I mean, even if you don't necessarily get the college credit from doing a project for us, if you can do a literature review or do any of these you know, more read and write type um, projects, right. which are still very important, you can still apply for the scholarships which is money in your pocket. You don't necessarily have to use it for tuition. It's money in your pocket for your efforts. And you also get the networking. I mean, you're being yes. put in touch with all kinds of top researchers in this field. And even if you can't make significant lab contributions, just getting involved with these people is going to benefit you immensely as you go into your future. Right. Yeah, I uh, put up a graphic here of the literature review study or topics that are available that you have put on the MFURI website. So uh, that's one point uh, for anyone tuning in here to the program I wanted to uh, reinforce is that there is lab work that could be done, but also literature review topics. Uh, so that's something that is very important as well. Uh, I, I would mean, like to uh, I would like to throw out there too to all anyone that might be listening that's a researcher. I mean, we've got lots of students that are approaching me over and over that are interested in doing these sorts of uh, these sorts of things. And if you're a researcher right now, this might not pertain to you, but give us projects. I mean, if there's students that can do the projects that you give us, and we can do work and further the agendas of the Methuselah Foundation and Sends, write up projects, write up proposals, send them to us. We'll get them posted, and we'll have teams working with you on projects that you want to see done. Right. Okay. Uh, and a, a good question just came up from one of the viewers here that I'm going to uh, relate to you now. Um, uh, thanks for that, about the, the information about different types of things that students can be doing. And again, yeah, I want to reinforce the fact that if there are researchers uh, that know of projects that need to be done, uh, contact Kelsey and let them, uh, you know, network with all the undergraduates out there to start this, get this stuff started. Um, uh, the audience question is, uh, what in, say in layman's terms, uh, what part of Alzheimer's disease are you uh, attacking here with your uh, research at Plattsburgh or what you plan to do? Uh, how will it, uh, say, find its way into clinics, uh, you know, in, to protect practitioners uh, hands. Uh, how do you see this evolving, your research, and how it will affect uh, medicine in general, the practice of medicine? Well, very briefly, um, the whole purpose of lysosense or lysosense is to is to identify what in the human body or what uh, originates in the human body that human lysosomes cannot break down. So the lysosome it, is in your cells. It's kind of like the garbage disposal, right? Yep, breaks everything down and. Uh, right. recycles it and as you age there's certain components uh, inside your cell and outside as well that um, build up and that's discussed in detail in uh, Dr. DeGray's book. And they, they, but, they can't be broken down by the normal mechanisms of the body. Correct. And that does and, include tau protein? Uh, well that's what we're investigating actually. Oh, okay. 
Um, there's been a lot of uh, study on tau protein and whether human lysosomes can break that down. However, there's different forms of tau protein which are called isoforms and they form for a number of different reasons. But um, within your